is going on guys this is Joey Young coming at you with another update video today we are going to be talking about the reef tank uh, before we go ahead and start uh, make sure you guys hit that 4k resolution option if you guys want to watch it in 4k uh, I'm gonna start shooting some of these uh, updates and films in 4k this is uh, a new camera that I'm shooting it in so uh, definitely take advantage of that um, see stuff in high def <laughs> Alright, so it's been uh, nine months, I believe, nine months since this tank has been up and running, uh, ups and downs, uh, more positive than downs, I would say, but overall, it's been a, a great experience so far. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, general livestock updates. Um, the only addition to this uh, tank um, and, I guess, removal of the tank, um, I will talk about it real quick. Uh, I did add, add in a um, uh, what is it uh, six line uh, ras he's or she or whatever is running around in this tank definitely one of a very very cool fish um, you know I, I, that's basically pretty much the last livestock fish that I wanted to keep in the tank um, at one point I did have a emerald crab in here just to kind of remove some of the bubble um, green bubble algae thingy that was kind of growing around the tank uh, maybe within a day or two uh, that crab pretty much took care of that algae problem like instantly um, so uh, that's pretty cool and so if you guys are interested in, in, in terms of getting rid of that type of algae I mean um, getting one of those crabs is definitely awesome uh, helpful but what I found was as you can see I do have other live plants um, here and there um, once they kind of finish with that algae, they'll start eating those plants. And what happened was, as you can see, I used to have a bunch of them, and some of them are kind of floating now. But um, it, he basically, the crab started eating a lot of that, and it, it can't grow fast enough to uh, to repair itself. So I actually ended up trading in the crab back into the pet store uh, because he really pretty much did his job. I got him j just for really one reason. Um, so. I, I went ahead and traded that crab back in and pretty much the livestock is the same as you guys have seen in the past the, t the two clownfish actually this clownfish is loving this <laughs> this mushroom down here now um, this was one of the uh, mushrooms you guys have seen in the, in the previous videos I ended up putting it from over here to down here just because it got so big um, but yeah and and, and yeah, so that mushroom's just really chilling over there. And there's another mushroom right here. Um, I got a flower anemone over here. That's pretty cool. Um, in terms of livestock, I think that's it. Um, everything else, like I said, is the same. The two shrimps um, are in here are the same. Um, the man and goby, um, the spotted goby that I got in, um, is still in here chilling. Um, so I'm very surprised that thing's still alive because uh, I don't really see any more pods um, I need to replenish the pods and I do feed it um, live uh, mice and all, all that other stuff so he's eating something because he's he's thriving um, but this is this uh, this clownfish is, is kind of hilarious right now as you can see in the very top I ended up removing the rock that had the uh, dragon's breath uh, actually down here and it's starting to grow on basically each side now um, on the top I basically removed my Superman mushroom from like, it kind of laid across here to back in the back corner there uh, so it's looking a little bit better and a little bit nicer um, like that so I kept it that way um, the lights just came on so some of the corals aren't fully open yet but um, let's see what's new as you can see my tank has a bunch of coralline algae um, it hasn't really spawned as much since then as you can see the back wall there is just pretty much really good caked in and then in the front it will have a couple of spots like here but um, I end up usually scraping uh, the front and some of the sides here just so I can actually see the tank and see see the fish uh, so not a lot of algae grows on there but there's definitely a lot of algae that grows on all the um, the plastic stuff, the heaters and stuff. Oh, and actually one more thing, um, because it's kind of the winter, the winter months. Uh, I actually took off my algae, or I turned off my uh, heater, because my um, with everything running, it actually preheats itself like at a perfect temperature of like 80 or 78 or 77 ish. Um, and actually, if I have that on, it's actually gonna be a little bit hotter than what they need to be. So 
I actually just turn it off and actually saves in costing costs um, as well so it's actually a plus for me um, but yeah so I have you know not really much like I said much change everything's still doing its thing um, you know that shrimp now instead of being under that rock next to here he likes to be under there so <laughs> cool <laughs> uh, the uh, the blenny I had another blenny up here he's been kinda just chilling and roaming in there uh, but he comes out during uh, feeding time and uh, yeah pretty much everything's everything's looking pretty good no, I mean really can't complain again I'm gonna let it grow out and I kinda wanna show you guys real quick all right, so uh, the tank may look a little different because I actually had to turn off the blue light. Um, this camera picks up a lot more blue than my other camera. So this is just uh, a straight uh, 10K, so that's why it looks a little different from the other videos, but at least it's filmable with this camera with this lighting. So, um, But anyways, I wanted to point out this right here. This is Zoa piece here. This is my fire and ice. I had maybe like that much. So like, a, think about that frag right there. It was about, you know, maybe in the middle, you know, half of that was covered with just that. If you look at my other videos, it was just a very small frag that sat here. Now it's spread it across, you know, across over here. So it's definitely grown uh, a lot, and it's probably going to take over the top there pretty soon. Um, so I, th I thought that was pretty cool in terms of, um, you know, the frag um, growing so fast and all that. Um, over here, my my very first cut in terms of like a successful cut um, frag of my other chaos um, is growing very nice All right so I zoomed in a little bit more so that's my other chaos that was growing really nice and that's the fire and ice that looks like it's grown pretty decently since uh, you guys have last seen it um, all the other you know guys are looking pretty good I torch coral I don't know if it's just like you know chilling or just closed up I don't know what's going on there um, but hopefully he'll open up in a little bit here. All right, um, and that's pretty much it uh, in terms of the tank. Again, I, I really haven't changed much. I've been letting it, you know, do its thing. It's been, you know, hopefully matured. And again, I'm just doing the regular, you know, 10% water change weekly. Um, and then I would clean my filters maybe every three three months or so. So maybe around December time frame, I'll have to do another clean and replace the medias. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Nothing, nothing too hard about keeping um, this tank up, up and running. Uh, I kind of wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, I, uh, I cut this, um, this glass piece. I don't think you guys have seen this on top like this, but um, I basically went to Home Depot, bought this, I cut it up, and I had these metal um, uh, brackets that held on top for my ADA tanks, and I just basically tossed them on four corners. And um, I just threw it on here, and this this piece was really cheap. It was I think under ten bucks um, at Home Depot, or whatever. And then I bought like the tool to cut glass, and I just cut it across like that. And it was pretty easy. So this is another easy way to do like a little hood if you have a rimless tank. Um, just get a piece of glass, cut it, um, and make sure you sand the corners and, and whatnot because it's gonna be sharp. And then uh, just just throw it on top, and then that's a pretty good um, you know basically hood so the fish won't jump out fish won't you know decide to to do suicide or whatever but the reason why I have this side open is because I normally would have my auto feeder uh, on top of there and it will just feed when uh, either I'm away or if I need them you know on a schedule or something but I've been hand feeding these guys like manually for a while now and they seem to like it and I've been I've been enjoying it a little bit better so yeah Anyways, um, nine months, guys, nine months. I'm going to hit the one-year mark pretty soon in terms of uh, keeping this tank up and running. Um, and they say that, you know, after you pass the one-year mark, that's when your tank has been matured and kind of stable. So hopefully it's it's keeping up and it's doing its thing here. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the tank. Uh, make sure you guys leave a comment below. Uh, definitely check out my other videos. I posted a new video yesterday. Um, getting to know Joey uh, definitely check that out you can see my other side of my hobbies and uh, yeah make sure you guys like leave a comment sub if you haven't subbed and peace guys